Hey kids, welcome to Kids Creative Week Online. I'm Jesse, and I've got Amaya. my sister Amaya. So we're here to run through the drum workshop with you guys, and we're gonna go through some practical stuff, what you guys can use for drumsticks, what you can use at home for a drum kit, or and we're gonna run through some practical drumming some stuff, and we're gonna show you the drum kit in the shed, so you can look at that as well, guys. We're gonna, hopefully, we're gonna learn a song as well, so it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be heaps of fun. So what we'll start with, guys, is what you can use as drumsticks. So obviously these, these are real drumsticks, guys, but Maya, what else do we have? We've got spatulas, guys. So again, these are just gone, we've just gone around the house and we've got these, we've got spatulas, we've got rulers, Grab some rulers, guys. We've got pencils. There's your little demo. We've got wooden blocks. <laughs> so we're gonna give you guys a, a, a moment, a second, just to pause the video. You go. You guys can run around the house with permission from your parents, just to grab some stuff as drumsticks first, and then at the same time, you guys can grab stuff that you can use for drums. So right here, we've got a toolbox, just like this. You can use something simple like that. You can use your hands on pillows. Maisie, hit the crate, hit the crate for us. Grab a, grab a laundry crate as well. We've got pots and pans here, which you can use. So give them a hit. Uh, tissue boxes. Heaps of stuff. Your whole house, you've got your tables, you've got couches, you've got your bed. Um, I remember as a kid, I used to just stack up pillows, chairs, everything. So sit on a chair, put chairs in front of you, and then put the pots and pans and the pillows all over the chairs, and that's something simple. Do it outside if it's too loud, and that'll work great. Anyways, we're going to give you guys a moment now, so pause the video and run inside, go grab some stuff, put it together, take your time, and whenever you're ready, you just click play on the video again. And when you click play, we'll be switching to the drums out back in the shed, and I will show you guys a real drum kit, the different parts of a real drum kit, and how to play the drum kit. See you soon. Hey kids, all right, so if you've got your house stuff, that's great, stack it up somewhere. You're probably sitting there now. For those of you sitting at a real drum kit, that's great as well. Some of you guys will have a mini kit. Some of you guys will have your parents' big kit, whatever's gonna work, guys. So I'll run you through mine and what the different parts are just so you guys can learn that as well. So to start, guys, the most common part, I would say the most famous part of a drum kit would be the snare drum. So this is your snare drum here, all right? It's, this is a brief demo of what it sounds like. Right, so there's many ways you can play your snare drum. You've got your ballpoint at the center of the drum. You've got a rim shot, which is where the palm of your, the body of your stick will actually hit the rim of the snare as well. It's a lot, it gives a lot louder of a sound. You've got um, actual, you can hit the rims. Um, you've got your palm shots as well, guys. So when you put your palm down on the snare drum. Right, with your fingers coming over the top and then you're about a quarter of your stick hanging over the edge. Just to get that nice jazz sound out of it. So if those of you that uh, have a snare drum, feel free to even pause the video now and give that a go as well. For those of you that don't just watch, and this is when one day if you get a kit, one day if you jump on a kit, or if you're just keen on knowing about a kit, this is some simple stuff that you're able to do with it. So after the snare drum, You've got your toms, they're, they're called, you know, your rack toms, high toms. So I've got one tom, so this is called your tom one. This is what it sounds like. All right, so that is your first tom. Um, some of you guys with a drum kit, you'll have a second tom right here where my ride symbol is. So probably sitting under there somewhere. Just on my kit, I'm only using one tom. So you've got your tom there. Um, and then you've got your floor tom down here. This is called your floor tom, a different sound. much deeper, fatter, grumpier tone, depending on how you tune it, obviously. So drums can be tuned as well, guys. Drums can be tuned to different um, sounds, different pitches, whatever you guys want. Um, so yeah, that's the four tom. Some people will have crazy setups. They'll have heaps of toms, heaps of floor toms, two snare drums. Yeah, drums are crazy. You can do whatever you want with them. So, and then cymbals, guys. Cymbals are awesome. Cymbals are fun. Um, they bring all the spice to it. So we've got your hi-hat here on the left with your pedal, right? So 
So not much to that, you've got a top hi-hat and a bottom hi-hat underneath. And when they're put together, you get a hi-hat sound. And then so you've got your first crash up here. Whenever you hit your first crash, majority of the time you will be using a kick drum with it. So, so use your kick drum with it. Um, and then ride cymbal's a bit different. So obviously that's a this is my this is a smaller crash, and then you've got your ride cymbal here. Which you tend to be quite bigger than your um, crush cymbals in most cases, so you've got much of a, a higher tone cymbal. So with the with the ride, you've got the bell in the middle that you're also able to bring into your playing a lot. So you've got like a. So don't be afraid to give that a go as well, guys. So again. Pause the video, give it a crack guys if you've got your kid at home with what I've shown you so far. Um, some of you may have a second crash like this, same as the first one, might be a different size, produce a different sound. And same thing, you've got the bell as well. And there you go guys, so that, that's your drum kit. Um, the last thing or part of that and the, the, big, the big part of it would be your kick drum. So you've got your kick drum down here. Get the camera down there, and then so you got the pedal, and you and you kick drum, your big bass sound, bringing bringing the bass to the drum kit, bringing the loud off down. Again, that will play different roles depending on what you guys are playing, but um, simple put, there it is. And then I'll give you guys a little crack of what it all sounds like when you put it together using the different cymbals, the kick drum with the toms, and then again, give it a pause, guys, and go crazy at home. If you guys have just set up your own little drum kit with what you've got inside, do the same thing. Go crazy, give it a crack, go loud, have fun. Those with a drum kit, try different techniques. Snare drum, you got your palm shots, you got your rim shots. Anything, you got open, close, hi-hats. Which is just by opening and closing the hi-hat with your pedal while hitting it. You've got side shots on the cymbals. You may be able to do some of that stuff. Have fun. All right, so this is a little, little, little demo for you guys. There you go guys, your turn, pause it, have fun, give it a crack guys, and that is that is your drum kit. Drums are awesome, they're big, and you're gonna do heaps of stuff. What we're gonna do now is you're gonna jump back outside, I'm gonna have a mayor with me, we're gonna run through some rudiments, some really popular rudiments that you guys have probably may have heard of or may not have, and we're just gonna run through them, and then after that we're gonna finish off by learning a song, and it'll be fun. See you there. Alright kids, so we're back out here, we're at the table outside, I'm going to mayor again, so if you guys are taking a seat inside, outside, you've got your setup, you might have your tissue boxes, you might have your pans, you might have your pillows, you got your setup there guys. Um, so we're going to go through some simple drum rudiments. So drum rudiments are sticking patterns they're called, or you know the position of whether it's your right hand or your left hand playing, obviously with your drumstick more commonly. I'll be using drumsticks but just on a tissue box. Maya's got what you guys could be using, she's got wooden spatulas which could be used on a tissue box and we've got anything you can use. You use your hands guys if you just want to sit at the table. So we're going to start with this one right here. So this is called your single stroke roll. It is right, left, right, left. And that is literally just on repeat and that is your sticking pattern. So it's going to go like this, it's going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Alright? And then all you're going to do is you're just going to keep, you keep repeating that. Now what I want you guys to do, pause it as well, let's see how fast you can get it. So you can sit there, you can start slow, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, speed it up, and then see how fast you can just go crazy, go fast, go loud, um, and have fun with it. 
So that one, if you guys are sitting at a real drum kit as well, you guys can put that all over the drum kit. So you might want to do it on the toms, move it down to the floor tom, move it back onto the snare, do it with the cymbals as well. See how fast you can get it with the kick drum as well. Um, but um, yeah, so good start if you are on a real drum kit is just use the snare drum. But for those of you that might have a home set up, just use what you've got and have fun, go as fast as you can. All right, and then next. Next we have got this one. This is called your double stroke roll. All right, ready, double stroke roll. So double stroke roll is right, right, left, left. So as simple as right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Not too hard. So again, same thing with that, guys how fast you can get it, have fun with it, and, and, and as you guys get further on into drumming as well, that's gonna be a really common, really common technique that you guys will use with different stuff. And when you get really, really fast, you pick up different like speed, bounce techniques, just to get really, really, really fast doubles, because sometimes they can be a really cheap way to play really, really, really fast, and it can be heaps of fun as well. So definitely practice that one, guys. Also, some of you guys at home will have an actual drum pad. If you have an actual drum pad, definitely get that out, use it, they'll be awesome. They're just, obviously, they're made to just be like really good to practice on as they have a similar texture to the drum kit, but use what you've got, guys. So, ready? Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. So that's the basic, and then I'll try to speed it up. It's a bit hard on a tissue box, but you guys, I'm sure I've got a much better setup than me right now. And then, yeah, so right, right, left, left. So those of you, if you're left-handed, start with your left-handed, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, right. And speed things up. See how fast you can get it. Use a metronome, which will keep time if you have one. Use whatever you've got. So the next one we're gonna look at, guys, is paradiddles. Yes, this is a paradiddle. Sounds a bit funny, got a funny name, paradiddle. So as it sounds, it's paradiddle. So right, left, right, right. As we've written down right here, so you've got right, left, right, right, and then you go left, right, left, left. And then you just repeat that. So what it looks like is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. From your perspective, guys, assuming you're right-handed, it'll look like this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, okay? And then all you do is you keep repeating that. Again, it's a mix of kind of like a single at the start and then a double at the end. And you see how fast you can get it. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Again, bit hard on a tissue box. You guys go fast, go fun, go put it on a real drum kit, do the exact same thing, have fun with it. Go, go crazy, see what you can do. Start on the tom with your right hand here, put this right one on the tom, put the left one on the snare, and put these two right ones here on the floor tom. And then put this left one on the snare, put that right one on the tom, and then put these two left ones on the floor tom. So you can move it around, do ga do do ga do 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 ga do do and just make it fun, do what you can. Grab your parents and show them just how fast you're able to get it. Grab a metronome if you can. Whatever's gonna be fun. All right, guys, so that, that concludes our rudiments. We had our singles, our paradiddles, and our doubles. We, that concludes that. Before we go into learning a song, or not necessarily learning a whole song, but just learning how to find the beat, clap the beat, and play some rudiments on top of the beat of a song, that, so that you guys can put that into, into practice if you guys are gonna learn another song. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna show you all these three. Pause the video and give them a go again. So we've got our paradiddle here, our double stroke roll, and our single stroke roll. So go ahead, Bo's got the camera, he's gonna show them over the three. Give the video a pause right now. All right guys, so assuming you've just paused it and you've given them a go, even if you haven't, it's totally fine. So next we're gonna move on to finding the beat of a song by clapping it, and then after that we're gonna go into learning a song called Song of the Free by I Hope You See. A song that you guys probably done at church and in kids. And um, yeah, so we'll see you guys there in a minute. So, so what, we're gonna, what song we're gonna do is we're gonna do Song of the Free, which is a song by our church by I Hope You See. Um, many of you guys would have heard it. So we're gonna play it now for you just the start as well, but you guys can feel free to pause it as well and play the song yourself off a device. And um, we're gonna try and find the beat first, but we'll get there. Right now, we're just gonna listen to it. So here, here it is for you guys. We'll just give it a listen. This is the song of the free, the sound of the redeemed. This is the song of the free, whose chains have been released. Alright guys, so you've just heard a bit of the instrumental. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go from the top again. And as soon as you hear it start playing, I want you guys 
with the tapping of your foot, nodding of your head, you try and find the beat. As soon as you find the beat, start clapping in time with the beat. And you guys will know if you've got it right, because when I come in with clapping, we'll be in time. So Maya's gonna sit here and watch and learn as well. But you guys, listen to it, find the beat. Usually finding the beat is called the pulse, and the pulse is what you usually tap your foot to, or usually what you nod your head to when you're in the car jamming to music, when you're in the drums jamming to a beat, nodding your head. The pulse is usually what you're keeping in time with. Use your hand just to clap, keep in time with it. And then what we'll do is we'll put some rudiments into it and then I'll show you on the drum kit a simple way you can actually play the song and then the rest is up to you guys with the bridge, the chorus, the verse and the rest of the song you guys can do whatever you want, have fun, rudiments, beats, finding the pulse, clapping the beat, whatever. So Bo's gonna play it right now and see if you guys can find the beat from the beginning of the song. gonna do single stroke rolls so Bo's about to play it um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna give it a crap so you guys can you guys can halve it so you can go right left right left right left or if you want to double it it's a bit faster but you can go right left right left right left right left just do it which is what I'll do and Maya's gonna give it a crack herself as well you guys are gonna give it a crack and we're all just gonna give it a go at the same time and if you need help watch me for a second and then follow along so we're gonna play it now for you singles that's your singles there guys and then so you see how I doubled it sometimes and I halved it sometimes but I kept the rudiment of right left right left right left right left quickly move on to the next one double stroke roll and we'll give it a go so it'd be right right left left right right left left right right left left right right left left Double strokes. Now feel free to pause the video now or just go back a little bit to where that was playing and we're here playing it if you want to play along with us but just focus on the music and give it a crack. Again, move it around the, the drum kit. If you guys want a drum kit, plug some headphones in. Um, find the song yourself if you pause it if you want to and see 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 if you can double the the um, the double stroke roll. So da 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 or just go da 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 right right left, left, whatever's comfortable for you guys. And then now we're gonna do paradiddles, guys. So again, remember we've got our right, left, right, right, and then you swap it, left, right, left, left. So this is probably the most difficult one, but I 100% believe in you guys. We're gonna give it a crack again, so we're gonna play, Bo's gonna play the song, and then we're gonna give it a go, and I'll show you guys through it. Guys, so you can go. Right, 
Power Doodles for you guys. Again, if you're on a drum kit, move it around. Play along with it. Play a groove on the with the hi hats and the snare. Go right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, left. With your tissue boxes, your pots, your pillows, your pans, your table, your sibling. <laughs> Use them. Grab the table. Just have fun. So there again, that's using that's so what you just learned then guys with a song of free as a as an example is how to find the beat and once you found the beat how to play your singles play your doubles and then play your your paradiddles which again back earlier on in the video we paused it so you could see all of these so if you need to do that you go back and do that for you um, but now I'm, all I'm going to do to finish off is I'm going to take you guys back over to the drum kit um, we're going to listen to song of the free and for those of you especially on a drum kit I'll show you the beat for the pre-chorus of that song and then the rest of the song you guys can just have fun give it a crack and um as i'm on the real drum kit some of you guys just use the tissue boxes that you have make a little homemade drum kit pause it make a little setup try and make your hi-hats and your toms and stuff with with different stuff that are in the shed and um we'll give it a go with song of the free see you there in a second all right guys so we're back at the drum kit you guys uh have hopefully paused the video made up a drum kit setup you can or you've jumped on a real drum kit if you have one whatever works for you guys um and may is now inside doing the exact same thing and she's gonna watch this video later too so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play song of the free when the drum comes in it starts with just a kick drum and you're just gonna kick drum in time of the song one two three four one two and then i'm just going to show you what the drums do and then you guys the best way to learn as a beginner is to watch, listen, and then play it. And then as you get further into drumming, you will learn how to read music, how to notate, and how to read scores and stuff like that. That is not for now though. Right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to how to listen to it, and then I'll be able to show you um, visually how to play it. Bo will move the camera around a bit just so you can see more angles of where I'm playing and how I'm playing it. Nice and simple. And then I'll just do that for a little bit of the song, and you guys can go crazy on the rest. And remember... When you guys pause the video and try it yourself, play Song of the Free if you can get it, and um, try put some rudiments into it. Remember, you got your singles, your doubles, and then your paradiddles, paradiddle, paradiddle, and then see if you can put it around the kit. So we're gonna start the song now, and I'm just gonna play it and um, watch, and then give it a crack yourself, guys. guys what we've just done then is we have played along to it now I'll show you what it looks like without the music so this is what it looks like you start with the kick drum and then this is the groove that you bring in so it goes one two three four one two three Again, guys, that's just my, that's the way I play it. Every drum is different. You guys, you guys might have some more interesting ways, some better ways, some cooler ways, faster ways, more difficult ways. Just have fun. See what you guys can do. Um, so that's playing along with it, guys. Now, go back, listen to it if you can't get it yourself. Otherwise, if you're at home and you're able to get it yourself, put some headphones in, use your tissue boxes, your pots and pans and stuff, and do that kind of, do that kind of place. So you might have the tissue boxes here, pots up here, and some pillows down here. You might be using your hands, you might be using an actual drum kit. You guys use whatever you can and have fun with it. And like also what I was saying is um try and put some single stroke rolls, so some some double stroke rolls, so right, right, left, left. Some paradiddles, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Try put that some of that into your playing and see what you can come up with for Song of the Free. You might be able to come up with... 
and that was just paradiddles and just moving it around and you guys can do that with the kick drum behind and in beat with song on the free have fun guys put use different songs and just just see what you can do and so we're back here with the mayor and we're just about to finish up you've just learned how to play song of the free so quick recap of what we've learned so far guys is grab we've i told you guys just to grab some stuff from inside we've got you know crates pots and pans tissue boxes different drumsticks spatulas guys a great idea different drumsticks um if you have a drum kit go for gold have fun go back in the video guys Find different parts you want to go through again. We've got our rudiments that we had over here on the pieces of paper. We practiced them. We practiced clapping to the beat. And then we practiced the beat for the song of the three I showed you guys. I also showed you guys what the different parts of the drum kits are. And it will always be good to know your different parts of the kit. And um, yeah, so go back. Listen to anything you guys want to listen to. Um, before we say goodbye, you guys are going to stay tuned this afternoon at 2 o'clock. We've got our songwriting class session so stay tuned for that well guys we'll hopefully see you soon we guys are hoping you guys are having fun again go crazy at home guys make drum kits and just sit there and play songs see what you can come up with you know and just mix all your ideas together and we'll, we'll see you guys soon bye bye